Hello, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. What I'd like to show you is how to embed a static page inside a Moodle content page. Now, let me explain what this actually means. What we're looking at doing is instead of using an iframe to embed a page inside a page, we can have a static HTML page. So that means a, um, a page that is just purely HTML stored on our server somewhere. And we can load that page in dynamically inside a page uh, so that it becomes part of the existing page. And we can do this in a way that means if you take that custom page uh, that's stored somewhere on your server and you make a change to that page, it will update on every other page inside your Moodle courses or your Moodle theme or uh, any part of Moodle where you've added this custom page. And it's a little bit complex, but I'll take you through the process. Let's create a custom page. Uh, on our Moodle server. So this is assuming you do have admin access or there's an administrator or somebody that can add a custom page to your server. To do that, let's go to your Moodle server and have a look at your folders. So you can see here are the folders in a Moodle server. I've created a new folder, especially for this, and I've just called it custom pages. And inside the custom pages folder, I've added an example HTML file. If we just have a look at that example HTML file to see what's in it. Let's have a quick look. You can see here that it is just a paragraph with in development by Chris. This is currently being updated. As a result, you may see changes each time you view this page. So it's just a, a little bit of HTML, just as an example. Let's go back to our Moodle server. And there is something important that we need to do, and this is to install a plugin called Generico. If you haven't installed Generico, it is a plugin that is extremely useful for many, many different things. And I have a short video uh, here that I'll put a link for you that will go through the process of how to install the Generico plugin. There is a version for the latest version, a version of Generico for the latest release of Moodle. And let's go and have a look at what we can do with it. If we log into Moodle as an administrator, go to Site Admin. Search for Generico, or you can go to the templates if you like. Straight to the plugin. And I'll search Generico and we've got Generico templates. You'll see here Generico templates. So let's go into the templates. And if you've had a look at how Generico works, you'll see there's quite a lot that can be done uh, with Generico. I'm looking at one here called Inline Page, which I created. So let's have a look at this template. And this template has a template name of inline page and the instructions to apply this template to a page looks like this. So it's just a generic tag called inline page and it has a page name at the moment it just has slash written in it. Then there's some code here that says the body of the template so this is all the generic code that I've added to it, added to the page. That's actually all you need for the important part of it but down here, there is a collection of JavaScript that has been added to the Generico template as well. This JavaScript grabs that page from your server and dynamically loads it into the content on the page. Again, it'll make sense when we have a go at this. The important part is you need to copy each of this bit of information from the Generico template or download the template and install it. There's a little bundle option here to install. And what we need, what we want to use is this little bit line here which is how we add a Generico template to a page. Let's go to a demo course and we'll add a new page. Select page, add. This will be our test. I'm calling this an inline page. We put in, just straight into the page content, the Generico tag that says inline page. Now what we need to do here, where it says page and slash, we need to put in the folder of where we stored our page. So let's go and have a look at our page, which was custom pages, example.html. So let's go custom pages slash example.html. So that's the page we're going to load inside this page. Let's save display and see what happens. See a little loading and in development by Chris. This is currently being updated and as a result you may see changes each time you view this page and there's no full stop at the end of that. 
Let's just go and fix that. So let's go back to our page and edit our page. Here we go. Let's just put a full stop in there. Save our page on the server. Reload the page. And you can see we now have our full stop added to our text. So let's have a look at the HTML and see what we've done here. What we've actually done is asked Moodle using that plugin to grab that HTML page and dynamically load it inside the content of a page. So here we go. There's our info panel class in development by Chris. And our paragraph, this is currently being updated. Notice there's no iframe around any of it. It's just loaded the content inside the page content. What you can do is add this in the section heading as well. So let's just put in our page name, uh, example.html, custom pages, example.html. Custom pages, example.html. Save, and you'll see it's dynamically loaded inside the page. In development by Chris, if I go back to edit our page again, and I'll change it to Chris Richter, and it's still bold. We'll just save that. Go back to our page and reload. There we go, in development by Chris Richter. And if we go into our test inline page as well, you'll see it loading, in development by Chris Richter. One little part you may notice as well, you saw that little spinner that was showing that the page was loading or that content was loading. That comes from Font Awesome. So if your theme has Font Awesome installed, it will show that little spinner as it loads. If you decide you don't like this background and the uh, curved border around it, go back to the template, the Generica inline template, and you will see right down the bottom that I've got info panel is a class that has that background color and the border. It's all inside that template. You can change some details there, or if you go back up the top, to the body of the template, you'll see where, we've, where we have applied the class info panel. Uh, there's our little spinner that appears while it's loading. Uh, you can alter that class if you like, or add anything else that you need inside that template. That's just a quick way, well, reasonably quick, of embedding a static page inside a Moodle content page. It can be applied to any course, and if you change that main uh, HTML page, it will update right across every page on the server that has that embed. And it can be embedded inside page content, uh, it can be embedded in section headings or other pages. Uh, it could be in an assignment and it uh, will dynamically load that page into your Moodle content. My name's Chris Richter, this has been Moodle at Ricochet and hopefully that's been useful. Uh, any questions let me know or if you've got any other ideas of things you'd like to try or not sure how to do, uh, get in touch and uh, we'll see how we go. Thank you very much.